is inspired with music. <laughs> he tends to follow everything which appears on the music horizon. In case he finds something he really likes, it can make his day and inspire for a long time. Please welcome Dmitry Trapisnikov. Imagine a person is getting out of the metro station and what he sees, he sees a huge column of smoke somewhere in the far and he hears some weird awful noises from there. What is it? Is it aliens here? Is it the third world, world war broken down or something more terrible happened. Actually, it is students of Moscow Bauman University are celebrating their graduation. <laughs> dear uh, Madam Toastmaster, dear fellow members and guests, today I would like to share with you my experience of these relations and traditions which are behind uh, the graduation. So the very first tradition starts for me from swimming in the fountain. <laughs> there is a fountain in front of uh, the uh, main building of Bauman University. Uh, it has a round shape, it's not very big, and it has streams uh, throughout the perimeter of it, uh, which are streaming to the center of it. But unfortunately, the management of the university, uh, they know about the tradition. So during the time when I was graduating, they somehow, um, uh, and they decided to decrease uh, the amount of swimmers. And uh, they disabled the streams, which are uh, going into the center. So uh, basically it was a pool of water, and that's it. So tradition is tradition. And uh, the day when we graduated, when I uh, defended my diploma, I stood in this fountain, which was basically a pool of water. I made a round out of it, and then I was trying to pour myself with water as hard as I can. This is strange. So, first tradition done. We are going to the next one. And it was the next day, and I found myself um, getting out of the metro station. So, the person I was talking about in the beginning, it was definitely me. And uh, having a look uh, of this apocalyptic view, I was a little bit uh, afraid and I was anticipating something. So I went uh, to meet my friends nearby and I saw this awe and anticipation in their eyes too. So on we move, on we went to our next destination, on we went into the unknown. And unknown is students' dormitory. And on our way uh, to the dormitory, suddenly we saw a huge group of people, maybe 30 or, uh, 30 or 40 students. They were marching in the column. Uh, some of them uh, had drums, so they were drumming. Others had fires, so they were creating all this smog around. And they were marching, screaming, singing, and they were screaming, which is kind of a motto for graduates. They were screaming, Who is the engineer? I'm the engineer! Who is the engineer? I'm the engineer! My friends and I looked at this, uh, thinking, what's that? And actually, we were surprised, but we went on. And when we were approaching the uh, main building of the dormitory, we saw something really, really beautiful. Mm, something white in huge amounts were falling down uh, from the sky. It looked like huge uh, 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 flakes of snow and they were falling and falling. And actually it was different kinds of lectures, lists, notes, etc. And it's another tradition of Bauman Moscow University to get rid of the stuff at the moment you graduated. So we were looking at this beauty and it was really like the moons. They were falling down in slow motion. But then suddenly, a girl, I didn't know, approached me with a bottle of champagne and started putting champagne on me and on my friends. And at this very moment, we understood 
that the joyful moment of the event, which is called Dazi begin. <laughs> what is Dazi or Das? Das uh, is a Russian word for something which is um, in English called base, which is uh, basically a huge bowl which is used in households. And uh, these were days, the days of graduations. These Dazi are no less or more than the mean of transport. <laughs> so how it works? You took this basin, this dust, you put it on the asphalt. Uh, there is a hole in the, uh, in the dust and there is a cord which is connected to the car nearby. A person, one, two, three, depends on the basin, on the side of the basin or the size of the person, gets in the dust and the moment the car starts going, the joyful ride begins. And when the ride begins, people around start running uh, after this person and they put in champagne they put in beer on this person and whatever beverage they have in their hands. And guys, I did it all. I was in this study. I was uh, enjoying the rides. I was putting uh, champagne and uh, beer on people. Uh, I was screaming the motto. And atmosphere was really, really great. It was the atmosphere of pure joy. And it actually, it was really, really friendly. And I remember that at some to uh, time, uh, my brother came with, his, uh, with my niece, with his daughter. And she was there, she was uh, going with me, we were going together. And at some uh, moment, she started crying. And I asked her, darling, what's going on? Are you afraid? And she said, no, I want to write a Z2. So, it was really, really friendly, even children liked it. Uh, it went on and on, the party continues, continued, and at some point of time, it became really, really dark. And suddenly, out of nowhere, fireworks appeared in the sky. And we didn't anticipate it, uh, we enjoyed the fireworks, we were really, really happy at this very moment, and we we were anticipating the adventures of lives ahead. So, in a few minutes, uh, my friends somehow disappeared. Some uh, went to change their clothes because they were uh, wet uh, uh, with champagne and beer. And beer. Some uh, were accompanying uh, one of our groupmates in the emergency car. She uh, slightly broke, not, not broke, but injured her leg. And I found myself alone, uh, alone but happy going towards this very metro station where all uh, uh, began and thinking that probably these days uh, I will remember throughout my life. Madam Toastmaster.